this is my reflection over interactive gaming and um it says question one what are your thoughts to gamification of education do you feel games can be used to teach students content or are they simply a way to entertain uh, what examples can you think of to use games in your future classroom um as far as what i learned from this assignment I can see the benefits of interactive gaming. I think that it would be a good way to kind of pull your students in and keep them entertained. Um, however, I don't know if I liked doing this assignment um, structured toward older students, um, which it was supposed to be upper uh, elementary school through high school was our range. Um, and I think it might have just been maybe the template that I used. I, I wasn't really a fan of using that towards older students. I could see older students um, thinking that it was kind of boring or uh, lame and not, not really enjoying it as much as criticizing it, honestly. Um, that said, I think that interactive gaming can be very uh, positive, but I, don't, I wouldn't use a PowerPoint game. I would use something already online that uh, more professionals have developed on their own, like um, real, real games. Uh, and maybe this is just because like the gamer inside of me uh, would like to play fancier games, more, more interactive games, rather than just like clicking a true or false question or multiple choice and then the slide moves, you know, it's not quite enough to really engage your older students. Um, it might be okay for like upper elementary school, I could see that uh, being all right, but middle school and high school, I think is when it just, it gets a little bit um, too dull uh, to do the PowerPoint games. Although I do support interactive gaming um, as an educational tool, I think it can help because if you can draw your students in, you're gonna keep their interest and they're gonna absorb something from the lecture. Um, the template that I used was uh, a fishing one, which I liked it because it was bright, colorful, it had fun fonts. Um, it was enjoyable for me to kind of watch and listen to. It had nice sounds. Um, I thought that it was more entertaining that way than just clicking on a slide and it changing. Um, like the little fish for the scoring system was a lot of fun. Um, but again, I think that it would have been much better if I were structuring an assignment for younger students, um, like K through third grade is what I would picture PowerPoint games to be used for. Um, it was pretty user friendly. Uh, there were a few things that I would have liked to do differently. Um, I would have liked to change how the scoring um, page looked. I would have liked to know how to add more fish to the column um and i think i could if i had messed with it enough i probably could have figured it out but i was honestly too afraid for this assignment to just mess it up that i that i just didn't mess with it um i think that would have caused some problems i i did notice for a while i would try to uh click on the text box and i couldn't figure out how to change their words to my words because the button uh, to make the hyperlink work was hidden and I needed to send that to the back of the page before I could actually type in the text. So that took me like a solid five minutes to figure it out, which that's probably just me not being too tech savvy. <laughs> but uh, that was pretty much the only problem I experienced. Um, I think some ways that I could use interactive PowerPoint games for my future classroom. Um, honestly, I could personally benefit from it a lot. I could learn a lot myself. Um, as far as designing them goes, but I want to teach K through third grade is the grade level that I would like to teach. And I think that these would be very beneficial to children that young um, because they need kind of a simple game to play. Um, I think some games get a little bit too in-depth and a little overwhelming. Uh, PowerPoint seems to keep it very, very black and white and simple. Um, so I think for the younger kids that it would be very effective.